What's up, y'all? We're back. We are back with another react just for you. We're about to watch the uh, episode two of The Winter Soldier. Let's do it. Into it. It's your man, Jay. And your man, Antoine. And, and this is Taste Daily. So, uh, truth be told, we did a react to episode number one. And it was the best video we've ever made in our entire lives. And the sound was off. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> no vocals whatsoever. <laughs> Apologies. We're going to be starting off with episode number two instead. And basically what has happened so far is the Winter Soldier is having PTSD because he used to be a bad guy with Hydra. Having nightmares. He's getting counseling. The Falcon is having financial problems. And you know what? They kind of like hating on him because he's a he's a brother man. Black man don't get no respect. And he thought that he was not worthy of continuing the, the Captain America brand. Even though Captain America asked him to carry the shield, he said it feels like somebody else's. And he put it in a museum, and the government gave it to somebody else, and now there's another Captain America, and that's where we left off. All right. This is the conclusion. Let's check it out. Oh, back. That's not what did he say about Red Wing? He said Red Wing saw that the blah 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 and blah blah blah. blah. Yeah. He found out a bunch of evil stuff, and Bucky was like, "I don't trust Red Wing." He's like, "Well, you don't need to trust him." Like he's like, <laughs> I, th I thought there was some other character that I don't know about. <laughs> so I, I I I paused the show because I was just thinking, this is dope. Mm -hmm. Like, what's going on? <laughs> like. It's like a mini mini Marvel movie and stuff. It sucked me in, like, and man, yeah, this is a. Uh, it's like a movie. It's the, they didn't. It's they got the biggest corporation in the world backing them, so you know they they didn't they ain't pull no pennies. Like those special effects in that first action scene, that looked like a movie. Yeah, that looked straight up like a Marvel movie in the theaters. No holds barred. Let's get it. So. It, was this in the comics, the stuff that's happening now? Yeah, yeah. There's a, a, a flag smasher, and they, they, they changed it a little bit to be up with the blip thing. Like, But yeah, the flag smashers, they were like this... Group. No, I mean this whole the black man isn't Captain America and some yeah, like chump is. Yeah, totally, and, yeah. yeah. And yep. does he stay Captain America? Um, Man, I can't tell you, man. Ah. <laughs> you gotta watch him. I don't like it. I'm hating it. I don't know what they're going to do. I mean, I'm, they I'm might flip it from the comics, but I'll tell you this. In the comic books, Captain America, the new Captain America, was he was an evil. He wasn't evil, but he would... You know how Captain America, they were like, here's your gun. And he was like, how about a shield? I'm a defender. I don't attack people. He was like, noble. This guy's got a gun. Hmm. And he in the comic books, he ran around smacking people, and they were like, that's not what Captain America's about. Hmm. And he's like, I'm a murderer. Like, that's, you know, Batman, Captain America, they don't kill people. So that's what he was in the comics. And he was actually hired by the government to make Sam, the Falcon, look bad. Because Sam was starting to come up and people were starting to really like him. So it's kind of going along with the comics so far. We'll hmm. see if Captain America turns out to be a bad dude or not, though. Interesting. All right. Yeah. Let's see what's up. Knew it was going to do that. So wait, let me let me let's let's talk about something because I don't understand how this mofo was able to jump out of the plane and not die. He was injected with the same super soldier serum that Captain America had. So what? He doesn't break bones, right? He's like, um, okay. So the soup, the secret super soldier serum has been passed around the world secretly from that one dude with the mustache from the Hulk movies. Dr. Banner kind of came up with the first try, which was horrible because it turns him into the Hulk. So they messed with it a little bit. No, no, no. He, no, sorry. Captain America one happened first and it had terrible side effects and they made a bunch of super soldiers that we don't know about. And Bucky was one of them and they trained them to be assassins. 
Right. Okay. So Captain America turned out okay on the serum. Yes. How come? Uh, because that one scientist made it, improved it, and perfected it. And then right when Captain America got injected, Hydra came and killed the scientist. So he's the only one that knew how to make it. Mm. So Cap and Bucky are the only people left alive that really have it. Well, and, but I thought, you, I thought you said that Dr. Banner perfected it. No, no. Dr. Banner messed it up and turned into the Hulk. And then they took Dr. Banner shit and the one doctor made it work. And then they killed him. Right. Okay, so... No, 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 no. They made it. Captain America was is the one that worked, but they killed the scientists that knew how to make it. Dr. Banner took the research from it like 40 years later. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, because that was in the 70s. Exactly, so. exactly. Yep. Okay. It's hard okay. to follow. So he fucked it up and didn't do it right. Right. And that's why he's the Hulk. Right. And so now people are probably still trying to perfect it. Right. And with government funding and whatnot, they probably have, and there's super soldiers and robots everywhere now. There you go. Okay. I'm all caught up now. <laughs> and so are yeah. you. <laughs> the right. more you know. All right. Let's continue. Let's close out this extra window. Get out of there, McCaffey. Trying to infiltrate. They what are they doing? Why, why are they Robin Hood? They're looked at as freedom fighters because they're trying to get things the way that they were before the blip brought everybody back because everybody kind of came up. Like, and now they feel like these guys are using all of our resources. Everybody's going broke again. You can't feed all these people. It was better without these guys. That's stupid. That's horrible. That's a whole stupid philosophy. It's like man was wanting to kill half the people. It was... It, but I mean, it's like these people that are were gone, everybody had to know somebody because half the people were disappeared. Exactly. So how are you going to be like, oh, I w we're better off without my brother? That's why they're the bad guys. But I mean, come on. Like, that's too far-fetched. You can't have a whole group of people and then have supporters calling them Robin Hood when all those people lost somebody. That, that whole philosophy and way of thinking just doesn't make any sense to me. I think the plot line is flawed. I'm just saying. <laughs> that's where I'm coming from. Like, to have a whole group of people. I can understand there's bad guys and bad peoples and bad seeds that are like, we're better off without them. But to have supporters, like a whole group of other normal people that also lost people, support these psychopaths. Like, you got to be a psychopath, right? Or a sociopath. To, to not feel anything for the people that were lost and just want your money and want your come up and wish everybody was still dead. That's some bullshit. They're all bad. The, the, the they have support. Bad. bad people don't, well, I guess Trump. I'm saying, and it's not everybody. It's a. Whoa. A he okay. said, well. <laughs> anyway. That was a good point. I hadn't thought of that. No, that's a. Damn. I was trying to say bad people don't have supporters. It's a little too. It's, it's, it's home a little too hard. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Let's just watch Place the show. In the slides, please, please see you later. That's it. Tell me who's in Catch. Catch everybody up. Zemo is the guy from Civil War who orchestrated the entire splitting up of the Avengers. <clears throat> and he did so by reactivating Bucky and making Bucky go assassinate people. And he knew that Bucky being Captain America's best friend would split up him and Iron Man. And that's where the Wachovia Accords came from. And when him and Iron Man were fighting each other, Baron Zemo was like, I got something for you to know, Iron Man. And then he showed Bucky killing Iron Man's parents. Oh. Yeah. Ooh. So uh, we don't like Baron Zemo. He's a bad, bad man. I didn't know he's still alive. But his plan failed, obviously. Did he take the serum too? No, he didn't take the serum. He's just super smart. He's like a uh, uh, Lex Luthor smart. Super villain. Super villain, yes. Right. So, uh, yeah. I think that's going to wrap it up. Let's see what he's talking about. Baron Zemo, sounding like a cocktail that females like. Ah. Uh. Um, closing thoughts? You know what? I think this episode is going to make a lot of people mad. 
black people. Because all the black people stuff. The, the black people stuff. And you the know, people stuff. You know. Your people. Yeah. Talking about Hydra. Yep. Because whenever any show does anything like that, there's a certain group of Americans that it just, they get super mad about it. Huh. James Bond is going to be black. It's, it's out of control. Wokeness. They, they lose their shit. Absolutely. Spider-Man's black. <laughs> right? No, no, black stormtroopers are yeah. clones. Yeah, exactly. What? There's a gay superhero? <laughs> they freak out about anything that's, I don't know, not what they want, <laughs> basically. So I'll be sure to read the comments and see if uh, this episode pissed people off or not. Uh, but aside from that, I loved it, man. I like the, I like the, the, the little nuance of reality that they're bringing to this this show. Uh, he's like the Black Falcon. Ah! The Black Falcon? No, I'm just a Falcon kid. What are you, the Black Kid? <laughs> oh yeah, I got him right. <laughs> oh, I love dope. it. I was feeling that. Yeah. I was feeling that. Well done. Um, all right, so uh, it's your man Twan. It's your man Jay. Your your uh, your comic advisor. <laughs> so uh, we'll see you on the the next episode, I suppose. With another react. Another react to the Black Falcon and the Winter Soldier. <laughs> if you like what you see and you see what you like, smash that like button. Smash it. It's Tech Taste Daily, y'all. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one. Base in the space means peace. See you later. Thanks again for watching. Tech Taste Daily. Chew. We love this motherfucking baby. It's the chip monster. Uh, I thought you would stop recording. Peace out. <laughs>